Hey everybody, today I want to do a video on questioning your version of reality. And um, this is part of the content um, I'm putting together in our school group, which is a free group. You can find that at www.extraordinarycourage.com or even easier, ectribe.com. Free group, tons of content, it's all nicely organized, but I'm also sharing this material all across a couple other platforms so people can watch it and um, come join us. So um, this is something I find quite fascinating. Um, and here's what we're talking about. So your conscious brain, uh, it has to handle so much information that to survive, so the information comes in, um, to survive, your brain makes shortcuts. Okay, so the information comes in and you and you compare it to your subconscious beliefs. Life is, I am, people are, whatever. And if the information doesn't match the shortcuts um, or doesn't match the subconscious beliefs, your brain will ignore it and or pervert it to match it. Now, you actually know this is true because you have said and done things that other people took to mean something you did not mean at all, right? Um, we see this um, We see this in a lot of the assumptions people make around um, racial divides in our country lately. Oh, those people are all like that. This people are all like that. And, and we see both sides having a very challenging time um, absorbing any information um, that's not in alignment with that. Now, um, to dive a little deeper on this clinically, there are actually people whose brains do not make shortcuts and they have some really weird problems. For example, if my wife did brain did not make shortcuts and I shaved without telling her, the next time she saw me, she would not recognize me. Now that sounds funny. Why does this sound funny? Because your brain makes shortcuts. Of course you would recognize me, right? Literally, there's people that brain doesn't do that. Um, one interesting study was done. Um, researchers asked for two groups of people, people who thought they were lucky, people who thought they were unlucky. And uh, the study they gave, the task they gave them was quite simple. They said, here's a newspaper. We want you to count how many pictures are in the newspaper. But what the researchers had done is they had input two additional blurbs in the newspaper. Uh, one of them said, there's 43 pictures, you can stop counting now. The other one said, congratulations, you've won $250. Tell the researcher, right? Now, interestingly enough, only the people who thought they were lucky saw either one of those things. For the other people, that was not a reality. It didn't, simply didn't exist, right? I had um, a friend of mine... Um, we were hanging out together in church one day. And um, after the service, three people walk up to this person and they all said the same basic three things. They um, acknowledge this person, um, uh, complimented them, affirmed them, and invited them into deeper relationship. Like, ah, Bob, it's great to see you. You are so awesome. Bob, we should have a beer sometime together. I'd love to get to know you. Something like that, right? While I'm standing next to them. Three people, those three things. Over lunch, this person said this to me. You know, it's really hard to make connections with people at that church. I was like, what? <laughs> right? Now, the issue is, is I know that this person had a subconscious belief that goes like this. People just don't really care enough about me to value having a deep relationship with me. So this was their subconscious beliefs. Now, they were unable to see and grab information that did not align with that, right? Crazy problems, right? So um, a weird example I had, not quite along those lines, was I was in a, um, I was in a hotel um, kind of conference room with rows of seats look, listening to a train. Okay. And there was a person who came in, this woman, young woman, um, 
came in and sat in the row in front of me, about three or four seats to my right. And um, very pretty lady, short, dark haircut, and uh, some kind of a summer stra- dress with spaghetti straps, right? And I just glanced at the person, but when I did, I noticed that she had a gray surgery scar, the width of my thumb going down it. And I didn't really stare, but I was like, oh my God, I wonder what happened, what kind of crazy surgery, injury, I wonder if they're in pain, different things like that. Well, 45 minutes later, I looked back and guess what? Um, there was no scar. My brain had made some sort of weird sh- shortcut, made the whole thing up. Right. So we find this, you know, I know for sure that I will often take things my wife says or doesn't say, does or doesn't do to mean things that she never meant ever. Right. So I'm going to give you a tool that will help with this, but it will also help with um, this is an amazing leadership tool as well. Right. When we get into an emotional state, and often the shortcuts we make push us into an emotional state, um, we have a very hard time solving problems, okay? And uh, David Bird, a leadership coach, gave me this tool. It's called the perspective analysis. So um, you can use this on yourself when you're like super emotional. You're like, ah! you're like, okay, hold on. Let's see if we're actually dealing with reality. Um, You can also use it in a leadership position or relationship position where you have situations where people need, um, they need a lot of your time because they need to talk about how they're feeling. You understand? Oh, I'm so upset about this, this, uh, the emotions, very high emotions, right? And they're needing you to listen to them so they can solve the problem, right? Um, And it takes a lot of your time and energy. So this is what you do. Um, In that situation, do it to yourself, or you ask this person, hey, man, look, Susie, I have a solution if you're interested. Wait. Susie needs to say, yes, I'm actually interested in solving this. Great. Great. Awesome. So, Susie, here's what you do. Take a piece of paper. Got it? And a pen. Can't think about it. Can't do it digitally. Got to be manually writing it down. Got it? Okay. Susie, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line down the middle of the paper. On the left-hand side, I want you to write out what you actually know about this. Hardcore facts. Hardcore facts. Like, if I call and leave three voicemails for Bob, email him twice, and text him four times, and I never hear back from him, what do I know? He doesn't like me. He doesn't want He's ignoring me. No. All I know is Bob and I haven't talked. He may have even messaged me and I didn't see it. Maybe what, Maybe he dropped his phone in the toilet. He's, he's man, he's so broken up. He's about to text me back and now he doesn't know how to get a hold of me. He's, he's super sorry. <laughs> You're having made all these assumptions. All I know is we haven't actually talked, right? So that's on left. What do you actually know? Hardcore facts, right, that you can verify. And on the right-hand side, write out what you can actually do about it. What can you actually do? So there will be three solutions, three results with this, okay? Um, Step one, Susie won't do it, right? And now I have an opportunity to say, hey, um, you told me you were interested in solving this problem, and I gave you a solution, but you didn't do it. Now you're not really respectful of my time because you're telling me that you're not actually interested in solving this, okay? We're going to have a very hard conversation. Step two, Susie will go, you know what? I did that little thing and I realized the situation isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. I was I'm like, okay, well, that's helpful. Step three, Susie will go, you know what? I, I figured out exactly what I need to do. Because her, she pointed, we, we're going to point your brain in the right direction, in a helpful direction. Does that make sense? So, um, so it's good in your life to review what, what things do you believe? Oh, life is, I am, people are, that aren't helpful and maybe aren't accurate. Men are like this. All women are like this. Dating is like this. The church is like that. Those people are like this. All these people are like that. Maybe, maybe not. Is it helpful, right? Are you are you missing some amazing things? Are you missing opportunities? Oh, everyone like, everyone hates this sort of business. 
No one will be interested. It's impossible to sell it. It's everyone thinks it's too expensive, right? <laughs> it comes up a lot in business, right? This is why with the same type of business in the same market, two different people can have radically different results because they have different subconscious beliefs and they act on them. Anyways, hope this is helpful. Hope you're having a great week.